Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Catharsis Inc. If you celebrate July 4th, happy Independence Day. For me, I don't personally celebrate it, but my family does. And ironically, July is National Picnic Month. So I thought I'd take you along with me as me and my family celebrate the 4th of July. So let's go. To prepare for the picnic this morning, I'm going to be making some no-bake cookie dough bites. And my grandfather has also asked for deviled eggs. So I'll be using this handy dandy egg cooker to make some of those as well. So if you've never used an egg cooker before, they're really neat. You can actually make soft, medium, hard boiled, and custard eggs as well. It comes with uh, all these things in the kit. So this is your little measuring cup and it actually tells you where to fill up the line for what type of egg you're making. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Um, but you would pour this water in, so fill it up to your line. I'm making hard boiled, so I filled it up to that. And then you pour the water into the tray. And then the measuring cup also comes with this little pin. So you're gonna pierce the eggs. And it wants you to pierce the larger end of the egg. Okay, and then you set it straight up like this. And it fits seven eggs. Okay, so I got all seven in there. And then you put the lid on. And then it comes with this manual book here. And it's really neat because there's some recipes in here. Uh, you can make different types of things. Of course, I'll be making the deviled eggs, but there's egg salad sandwich, vegetarian omelet, scotch eggs, sweet potato with poached eggs, steamed eggs, custard, and stuff like that. Um, but there's also instructions. So for hard boiled eggs, we can do one to seven eggs and it's gonna be on for 14 minutes. So I've plugged it in and all you have to do is turn it on. So the little blue light ignited and then I will set the timer for 14 minutes. And we should be good to go. And as it starts heating up, you can kind of hear it's making that cooking boiling noise and the globe gets steamed up. So while the eggs cook, I'm gonna start uh, making these no-bake cookie dough bites. And all you need for this is one third cup of cream cheese and two tablespoons of butter. Now obviously I'm going to double that recipe since I have two boxes here, but I got the ingredients out. And it looks like it's pretty simple to make. Place cream cheese and butter in medium microwave safe bowl. Cover microwave 20 seconds or until cream cheese and butter are soft. Empty no-bake cookie dough mix into cream cheese and butter mixture. Stir until very blended and forms a dough. Shape dough into one inch balls, about one rounded tablespoon. Empty topping. Okay, so it comes with this little icing drizzle here too. Empty topping into a small clean microwave safe bowl. Cover microwave on high one minute, stir until melted and pourable. Drizzle topping over bites and refrigerate until set. Cool, so yeah, it sounds really easy. Obviously it's no bake, so you don't have to use the oven. So this would be really good on a summer day because you don't wanna turn the oven on and, and heat up your house. So let's get started.
Okay, so the eggs are done. So I'm going to turn it off and let those cool. And I have finished mixing together the cookie dough. So it says shape dough into one inch balls. So I will do that now. size of each box is 18 cookies and I did both boxes so I was to get 36 cookies but I ended up actually getting about 41 so it just determines how big you make your your cookies so now it comes each box comes with these little chocolate pieces so you need to put it into a microwave safe dish and we are going to melt those in the microwave. And it says to melt them for one minute. So I will do that now. And this is what they look like. So this is what it looks like melted and it's got a creamy consistency. Now to help drizzle, I'm actually gonna put the icing in a baggie and then cut the corner and I will drizzle that way. So I have icing them and now I'm going to be putting them in the fridge to set. So as you can see, the shell came off fairly easily, um, other than the last one that's got a little bit of chunk of egg taken out of it. But when I make deviled eggs, it's a really simple recipe. I just use mayo, yellow mustard, and then either dill pickle juice or green olive juice, just depending upon which one I have on hand. And then uh, I garnish it on top with some paprika. Now I'm not one to accurately measure. That's probably why I'm a terrible baker. Um, so I don't really have measurements for how much mayo and mustard and all that, but I just put in whatever seems good and stir it up. So I'm crushing the yolks. And as you can see, those eggs turned out really good. And I, if you're in the market for an egg cooker, I believe I got mine at Walmart and it was fairly cheap too. So definitely go check that out. And like I said, it's, it only took 14 minutes and then you have eggs ready to go. Okay. So I'm just going to start putting a little of each. Well, that's more than a little, but And then I just stir that up until it gets to the consistency that I'd like it to. Okay. 
Okay, let's add some mustard. bit more mayo I think okay and then I will add some pickle juice and I just dump it straight from the the jar and I stir that up Ooh, I'm splashing everywhere and this is about the consistency that I like my deviled eggs so then I will start filling them So I just discovered I don't have any paprika, unfortunately. So I topped it off with garlic pepper, so that should give it enough seasoning. And it's not the prettiest display of deviled eggs, but you eat it nonetheless, so <laughs> they'll do. So we were going to go to the lake at to watch a concert and watch the fireworks. But when my grandparents got to the lake, they said it was packed and that they were charging for parking and it was just ridiculous. So change of plans. My grandparents are actually gonna come down to my house and we're gonna have the picnic here. And actually last night I was able to see fireworks from my back deck. So I'm hoping for the same thing tonight. Since the park idea didn't pan out, we have our picnic set up here in the house. So we have chicken, fried and baked, cantaloupe, chips, watermelon, soda, salad, deviled eggs, and then of course I made the dessert which we will put out later, but it looks really good and I'm excited.
all enjoyed our makeshift 4th of July celebration. My family is pretty good at replanning things that go wrong because we're so used to it. So I hope you enjoyed all that. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.